At the MAX 2019 airshow in Moscow, Russia's United Aircraft Corporation announced that Russian carrier Yakutia Airlines and BKR of Kazakhstan are among the early customers for its new MC-21 airliner. Yakutia, which is based in the far northeast of Russia, has agreed to buy five of the latest MC-21-300 model, which the manufacturer demonstrated during the airshow. BKR has ordered 10 of the twin-engine jet, and Russian flag carrier Aeroflot accounts for another 50 out of a total of 175 orders placed so far. But UAC's commercial success with the MC-21 is clouded by the threat that more sanctions imposed on Russian companies could block the manufacturer from taking delivery of the US-made Pratt & Whitney PW1400G engines that power the aircraft. The Russian manufacturer developed the jet to challenge the dominance of Boeing and Airbus in the narrow-body market. So UAC is working with Russia's United Engine Corporation to get the domestically produced PD-14 engine certified to power the MC-21 from 2020. What is unclear is whether UAC may also face difficulties importing Western-made avionics and systems for the aircraft, with companies such as Collins, Honeywell and Talis all among its suppliers. The MC-21-300 on display in Moscow featured a cabin interior for a model that will seat between 163 and 211 passengers. The aircraft can operate on routes of up to 3,200 nautical miles. During the MAX show, test pilots demonstrated its high maneuverability at speeds of up to around 220 knots, with steep climbs and banking to 90 degrees. The aircraft was inspected by Russian President Putin and his guest of honor, Turkish President Erdogan. UAC has been pursuing export orders for the MC-21, with prospective customers reported to include Syrian Air. During the Moscow Air Show, Yakutia Airlines also confirmed an order for 10 of Russia's Superjet SJ-100 regional aircraft. The Superjet is also made by UAC, whose majority shareholder is the Russian government. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.